What's up, beautiful people, to another episode of the Jones Family Channel. It's me, Ricky Jones Jr., and as you can see, I'm not by myself. I have the beautiful Miss Kaya, as well as Mr. Rich, for the third episode of For the Love of Essay, where we get to talk about the beauty, the people, and the opportunities that Johannesburg, South Africa has to offer. If only you just come take a look. Now, they are Americans, just as myself. They moved here a little bit before Crystal and I, they're going to tell their story. But more than anything, what I want you to be able to receive is the fact that you can enjoy Johannesburg. You can have fun here. You can enjoy life here. And it's always great to get to hear from different perspectives. And so hand it from there so you'll get to see another <laughs> slice of the Johannesburg of beauty. But at the end of the day, I want to do an icebreaker. Yes because I came across her Facebook page, which I'll put links down below for all the great stuff that you can see, uh, as I did. And at the end of the day, I'm gonna show them a photo. I'm gonna show you all the photo as well. And when I show you the photo, I want you all just to put us where you all were when this took place, mm -hmm. okay? And so you ready for the first one? Uh, we're gonna yes. do two. Right. This is the first one. <laughs> that is the one. Yep, that's the one. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> so what, what, yeah. what was going on <coughs> was, with October yes. not too long passing? That's right. Uh, yeah, that was just a typical Saturday night, man. Right, exactly. Uh, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, that, was, uh, that was a Halloween party. Ah. Uh, friends of ours had an annual uh, Halloween party that okay. everyone, um, I, I think for the most part, took, took seriously as far uh, as costumes and whatnot. So, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Sometimes we got a little carried away with uh. our... <laughs> Ambition to, uh, you know, be the best dressed. That's okay. It. So that's it's right. not obvious to folks. That's right. We yes. are both Michael Jackson. Yes, that's right. You do the math. Which was who? Uh, we were both Michael Jackson. Yes. Um, and, uh, yeah, that was a fun one. Oh, I love that. Mm -hmm. Did y'all dance? Did y'all have booze to go yeah. with it? Or was it just uh, a uh, Yeah, I think we, we did, did a some couple poses. on the entrance. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. oh yes. so who was the better the of party. the two? Well, you know. Early Michael was better. <laughs> <laughs> That Thank says it you. all. <laughs> I like that. Early Michael. If you know, you right. know. Yeah, yeah, At the exactly. end of the day. Okay. And so with Christmas coming up, I happen to come across another photo as well. I'm going to put it on the screen. I'm going to okay. show you all as well. That's another okay. uh, <laughs> annual thing we were doing. Yes. Okay. That's when the uh, ugly sweater... The ugly ah, Christmas is really coming, yes. coming that's right. into uh, its full, full yes, form. Yes, that's, okay. that's, that's right. right. Yes, okay. and like with everything, we had to do too much. <laughs> I like it, though. Overachieve. I like yeah. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like it, even with the whole Philadelphia Eagles in <laughs> oh, the back. That was, yeah, that, that was, was Rich's man, man cave. Yeah. Oh, that was yes. your man cave. Yes. Yes. Nice. Yes. You got to represent your favorite NFL team. Yes. That's the American way. Yes. And so the Eagles Go is birds. your team. Okay. <laughs> And being a Falcons fan, we say dirty birds. So, you know, uh, yeah, I guess we both birds. birds. <laughs> One's better than the other, One's though. One's bit. better than the other. That's all we got to say. That's, That's all, all we got to say. <laughs> One's better than the other. We can leave it there. Enough has been said. But at the end of the day, we both find ourselves here in Johannesburg, yes. South Africa, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, just to kick things off, what brought you to Johannesburg, South Africa? To... I was trying to make this concise. Okay, I was going to say an airplane. That's very, very uh, cut and dry. Uh, yeah. And obvious. Um, I love I feel, it. Well, so, so I feel like most people uh, in the summer of 2020, you know, uh, things got a little crazy in the States. Mm. And uh, we were looking, or me personally, I was looking for some place to escape because it just seemed so insane. Wow. At the time, um, so Rich and I discussed um, where could we go because, you know, the United States wasn't doing it for us mm. anymore. Uh, so then we started exploring the, um, the continent and places that we could um, – move to that yeah. would be a good fit for our family mm. and uh we came across how did we come across that? oh <laughs> so i literally googled what's the um most progressive and forward-thinking country wow. on the continent wow. and sure enough south africa came up because wow. you know there's some dynamics with this relationship that's it so some so, more obvious than right, exactly <laughs> that's right that's right michael jackson so, old and new <laughs> that's <laughs> Make sure that you know it would be a good for everyone. Yeah. So, uh, so South Africa came up, 
and then um, we came across some of our other YouTube favorites, mm. uh, Mark and Latasha, yes. uh, Real South Africa. Shouts out to them, the greats, the, the OGs, greats, the, OGs. <laughs> the ones that paved the way for a lot of us seriously, at the end of the day. Seriously, they a lot showed of us. us without even actually showing us footage of South yeah. Africa, but the testimonies yep. were so powerful. Yeah. Um, so I reached out to them and they put together a, a great trip for us. Mm. And we were kind of sold um, the first time we can't, I, was th I think they did a video with us the first day or the second day we arrived, and mm. it was just so emotional because, one, mm. I couldn't believe that I was actually on the continent because that wow. wasn't something that I could even have imagined okay. in my entire life. Like, you know, I'm from North Philly, and those are okay. very humble beginnings. Okay, okay. <laughs> So I couldn't even <clears throat> imagine it. So just mm. being on the soil, and um, it was very impactful and yeah. uh, very emotional so wow. i was sold on day one okay <laughs> you okay announce, you have to top them oh, i mean you know sometimes <laughs> when the union comes together what one say is what they say yeah. you know being a married man i get it i get it i'll what i will do is uh cater certain questions to one than the other how okay. about that oh, just to get no. richard involved because no, you already told me off camera he will sit and watch yeah, yeah. <laughs> at the end of the day yes. But um, no, I love that. I love that. And even you brought out a part that others may not even have to think about, right? Mm -hmm. The fact that you wanted to make sure you moved to a space or a place that was progressive. But one of the first things I heard you say that you were focused on the continent itself. Mm -hmm. So what made you focus on the continent of Africa as opposed to other continents or other countries or other spaces or places? Well, I think um, for me, um, leaving America, I knew that I wanted to be in community with people that looked like me. Mm. Because in um, 2020, like it was just so, I don't know why, it just, it just hit me on a level that I never experienced in the United States. And I just felt like I had to get out. Mm -hmm. um, so I knew that wherever we landed, I wanted to be a part of the majority. Okay. And that, um, so I thought about a couple of the islands. And I don't know why we decided not to go with the islands. Mm. Well, there wasn't <clears throat> just structurally the interest. There wasn't a lot. It's an odd, you know. Right. Island. Okay. Yes. And I think we would have got bored um, looking at it. The, well, <clears throat> anyhow. So yeah. So the islands wasn't um, going to be a good fit. So the natural progression was moving to the continent. Mm -hmm. And at that time, people were, you know, promoting Ghana. So that, yes. of course, was the first place that we um, that we lo that we looked at and checked mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. um, and, yeah, so that's, you know, because it was where the black folks were. Okay, hello, hello. <laughs> so, I dig that. So that's, so that's kind of, it's, that's how we ended up here on the continent. Yes, no, that's fun. So even realizing and recognizing that South Africa was more, more progressive mm -hmm. um, for the dynamic of your relationship, mm -hmm. knowing that you all been married 20 plus, well, how many years? I'm going to let y'all say. Married 20, married 20 together 20. Been married 20, 20. Mm -hmm. together 26. 26. So they're okay. not new to the game, they're <laughs> true to the game. You know what okay. I'm saying? Two decades <laughs> in strong, <laughs> knowing did. each other even longer than that. <laughs> and so, yes. you know, yes. you wanted to make sure that both of you all were in a space that was comfortable and you all have a daughter, yes. right? Shouts yes. out to her, yes. one of my son's greatest friends, oh, as he said, <laughs> on the continent of Africa, which is uh, amazing. Right. Like the boy, he's hilarious. Uh, he's, he's hilarious, he's a riot, but at the same time, um, knowing that this was a space that you all could feel comfortable. Um, Mr. Rich, mm -hmm. would you speak to the idea of, for you, like being here on the continent, how has it been for you, knowing, you know, Philly may be a drastic change, mm -hmm. uh, but how has it been for you? Oh, it's been great uh, mm -hmm. so far. I mean, drastic change, I think, is kind of what we were looking for. So nice. So combine everything that was going on, the pandemic, yeah. just sort of like ultimately sitting there like, am I living life the way I want to. Uh, like no one's promised tomorrow, the, yep. you know, the, all of those sort of feelings mm. and emotions. So we, we started, you know, thinking about what to do or where to go. And you started with learning a little bit about it mm -hmm. okay. and then visit. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then a year later we visited again yeah. right before we finally kind of like put all of the, you know, dotted the I's across mm. the table on the plan mm. to come here. So it's just like during those visiting experiences was kind of where we kind of like solidified like, uh. okay. It's new, it's yeah. different, it's, I don't, relax might not be yeah. the best word, it's still right. a city, I mean, right. there's still stuff going on, but right. the, the energy of the folks mm. is a lot more, oh, very true, you know, very true. warm and very true. friendly, and yes. you know, like, so that's very good, but it's also has all the same things you can find in a city, like, we're Literally. not going to be on an island, it yes. is developed, like, you yes. have all those, 
it's comforts of yep. back home yep. here too. So no, that's so true. Yeah. And that's so true and so good. What are you about to say? Um, I was actually going to say like how, because I know, so when we were deciding that, you know, we were going to move to the continent, obviously Rich was like, well, how's that going to impact me? Mm -hmm. And I think he, I don't know what your expectations were, mm -hmm. were going to be as far as like how South Africa um, what the demographics were. Because, you know, it's 80%, you know, uh, black um, South Africans. Mm -hmm. uh, but what we noticed, or what you noticed, was, like, how, di how diverse it is. Um, yeah. So oh, it think, is. Mm -hmm. That's it really, so true. Really is. And I think that's so one of the things. Correct. Yes. And yes. it's truly a <laughs> rainbow nation, right? It you hear really it, is. you hear it said, you, you see do. it through flags. They have yes. rainbow flags yes. up. And Rain mm -hmm. even asked me because she her name yeah. she loves like rainbows like that's mm -hmm. her thing mm -hmm. and so she's like oh i see the rainbow flag <laughs> and i was like yeah baby yeah. they they honor themselves as a rainbow nation because yes. truly it is an assortment oh, of yeah. people like yes. and i love yes. that yes. Uh, for them yep. as far as the kids but even for us as well just to meet mm -hmm. different people from different communities oh, okay. cultures and even to know indians yeah. right oh, this yeah. is the that's second huge. largest population yes. of indians yeah. in the world second yes. to india yeah and so i mean that says a lot it, so. it really does it really does and i think and so it's not just the dynamic dynamic of white and black it's like Correct. all these other people so, right exactly and those, they're around the yes you uh -huh. interact with them. like oh you know there's segregated this like they're in this neighborhood over yeah. here like uh -huh. you never yeah. see people like truly out together like, right yeah. uh-huh so intermingling right it's no. very segregated Mm -hmm. That's the states. That's mm -hmm. the states for yes. you. That's the states for you, and you can find it in all the states. Mm -hmm. But then there's also areas as well where the people do get to come together, especially around sports. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. That's yes. one of the go-to things that yes. draws all together. Yes. And uh, no, I mean I love that. So one question: mm -hmm. How many times did you visit before you actually made the move? Two. Twice. Yeah. Nice. Us Wait, as well. You probably should do <clears throat> more, but it's just so far. It's There's so that far. <laughs> that and is when true. you've already made a decision, this is where you're going. I feel like you don't I mean you're gonna you can only visit so many times. You're never gonna know what it feels like to live there yeah. unless you live there. Mm. So it just doesn't I mean, it's not absolutely necessary that you visit so many times, but yeah. you definitely wanna, you know, visit and feel comfortable about um, when you're moving. I um, dig that. Yeah, I think <clears throat> for us, we were always thinking about moving. So okay. part of the visits were like, oh, let's check some schools out. Exactly. Let's see so exactly. we were kind of like doubling up on like mm. the groundwork yes. mm -hmm. on those two visits. No, yes. I dig Whereas that. The average person might say, oh, I'll visit and just go on vacation. And yes. then the next time, you know, then start actually seriously Correct. looking at like how they would fit in. Yep. And, what, what they could do when they yep. came. Yep. So. No, same for us. When mm -hmm. we came, we came on a mission. Yes. And, uh, on but a mission. we're not here for us. We're here for y'all. <laughs> uh, what would you say are some of the most memorable moments you had with the people and the culture of South Africa so far? Um, I think when we, the first time that we came, um, I was just so surprised about how, um, people engage with our daughter Nina. Like uh, in the States, kids are seen but not heard. Uh, um, and yeah. they, I was just surprised just the level of engagement with children. Mm. Like they genuinely like, you know, talk to the kids in a way that's not creepy right. or weird, but it's Correct. like, you know, Correct. how are you? Like they interact with them like little humans, which is what they are. Yes. Uh, but I think I was just blown away just how kind and sweet and loving they were mm -hmm. to her. Like, cause yes. usually in the States you just ignore the kids. They ain't mm -hmm. my kids. So, mm -hmm. you know, so I don't have to engage. They're not tipping me. So I don't have, you know, so it's, <laughs> So it's all these things. So I think that for me was, you know, um, that was something to see. And that, that warms my heart, um, yeah. just how they engaged with her. And then just how kind um, the women uh, are in South Africa. Like yeah. they're so just embracing. And yeah. just, I mean, it's just, there's a, you know, I can't. Uh -huh. It's, yeah, the people, literally the people, the women are unbelievably kind and mm -hmm. sweet and loving um, and nurturing. Like our yes. daughter's um, two teachers are just, they've been so good with her. Wow. Um, and that's just the, the women in general that I've come in contact with. Like they're mm. all just, like just very nurturing. Mm -hmm. So I think um, for me, the people is what, when people are like, well, why do you want to move so far away? And, you know, it's like, it's the people yeah. and the food. But it's yeah. like, I don't think people really 
um, understand what that means. Correct. If you haven't been here, you <laughs> right, would. If you haven't been here. If you haven't been here, yeah. you wouldn't know. However, once you come, yes. it's something you'll never forget. Yes. It's something that it's like, oh, this is it. This is it. Like, now this the food. When you talk about the food. I mean... So, let's talk about the food. Because <laughs> being both from the States, yes. we've experienced food there. <laughs> mm -hmm. And even as we talked about the fact that we both have been to Vegas, even, yes. we know what food is like there. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we've been in mm -hmm. some of the same food circles mm -hmm. <laughs> how would you say the food situation is here compared to back in the states <laughs> i would probably use the word healthy yes but it just tastes fresher yeah. oh, even yes. places that are you know chains or multiple yes. right like fast like, food right yep. yeah better mm -hmm. yes like we were talking about the soda tastes uh -huh. different yeah mm -hmm. like it's all of the junk that you hear about yes. in food yes. and the state is not mm -hmm. correct here. Correct. Yeah, and or you can taste from, it. Yeah, the you can taste it. Yeah, like, like the it. eggs, mm -hmm. the chicken, the beef. I mean, yep. you eat it all. Uh -huh. um, uh -huh. um, and you, it just tastes like you don't, like it's, it tastes like it's supposed to taste. It doesn't taste like this is chemically induced. Like yes. it's just fresher. Mm -hmm. um, and then if you look at some of the things like ketchup or, you know, whatever yep. sauces, it's only a couple of ingredients sauce. and it's not like 30 <laughs> ingredients, yeah. you know, so it's just things I like that. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And everything. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. Exactly. Exactly. Not so the so food true. is just yeah. fresher yeah. Um, and tastes better. Yes. Mm. The one word. No, that's, that's true. That's, that's true. And this is, this is preparing your own food. So obviously when you go out to restaurants, the food's amazing, yeah. but just being here, and um, cooking your own food, you can mm -hmm. absolutely taste it. Like mm -hmm. I tell Rich, I was like, is this the season or uh -huh. it's just the food? It just, wow. it's just <laughs> right, right, <laughs> it's right. just so fresh. <laughs> it tastes so good. I'm like, this yeah. must be the season. Huh. No, so, it's healthy food. Right. In that respect, being yeah. husbands, mm -hmm. what was your response when she asked, is it the seasoning? Or what makes this dish that I just prepared so oh, that's good? Right, you cook it on the bride. Well, yeah. Oh, so you cooked it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, excuse <laughs> me. I thought you were like me, not being a cook, but you're the cook. <laughs> I'll, okay. I'll still call it a barbecue because I'm not that's it. You have it. enough to come out here and say I'm yeah, out here right. that's I'm it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Respect. But I have seen yeah. pictures of you on Facebook uh, <laughs> oh, at, the, the at the barbecue oh, at the grill. Oh, uh -huh. And it's uh -huh. funny because that was on the 4th of July when I was all, you know, mm. yeah. my, my, mm. my politics and my to party. Well, that true. part too. Was her. <laughs> but, so, but you have barbecued and oh, yeah, yeah, all yeah, here. Yeah. Okay. Wow. I still wouldn't talk to anyone. Okay. Right. Like, yeah, skills. I had a bride. Everybody, all right, yeah. well, how did you yeah. set the fire up? Uh, yeah. Uh, mm. Okay. So <laughs> not, even not in that respect, yeah. mm -hmm. what's your favorite meat that you've cooked here on the grill? Um, Have you tried something different? I, nothing the really bratwurst. different. Okay. But yeah, those are those are good. Like yeah, the bratwurst. Yes. Mm -hmm. But um, lamb. Is, okay. Mm -hmm. It's oh, prevalent. All over. prevalent. Correct. Correct. That's not something we typically would have. Mm -hmm. Very true. Back at home. Very true. Mm -hmm. so and if we did. Lamb, it's delicious. Yeah. So. And if we did it back at home, it's expensive. Oh, yeah. Very. Like, yeah. very like, expensive. But here, right. well, correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. correct. Yeah. But yeah. here is yeah. like it's... into the beef and the chicken prices. Absolutely. Every week. Truth be told, all food prices are very, very that's reasonable. Yeah. Yeah. Reasonable. That's, yeah. that's a beautiful that part to use. Too. Yeah, um, like kings. Huh. Yes. You know. no, that's very true. And you can watch out. You that's gotta right, watch that's out. Right, that's right. I started gaining some right. weight while I was out here. I had to look well, in the mirror like, here. wait a minute, son. Oh, you goodness. got to slow down. Slow you eat too good. It's a well, kitchen. It's sneak up on you. not, you know, over pasteurized right. or whatever. Yep. Like, mm -hmm. You really have to watch out what you're buying. You're, all, mm. you're going to the store like every couple days. Yes. Because yeah. everything is fresh. It's like, yes. hey, you know, use this within the next yeah. day or two. Yep, or three, or five so days. Like, yep. yeah. uh -huh. yes. So it's not like you leave something in the fridge for a week yep. Yep. and it holds. Yep. Yeah. Because it's right. not all pumped up with you know, Pesticides yeah. and preservatives. Yeah. Stuff, right? Correct, that's correct. That's and that's so right. now that's a beautiful thing. Now speaking of your daughter, how old is she? Uh, she will be five in January. January. Nice. So, yeah. so five mm -hmm. is coming up. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. with her living here, being here, mm -hmm. how do you think it will affect her worldview or her perspective of life of people um, while being here? Um, so, for being honest. Uh, uh, what also played into us moving to the continent is because I wanted Nina to have representation mm, of blackness that yeah. she could be proud of mm -hmm. and not run away from. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, so moving to the continent or just being in a space where she wasn't um, a minority was was important. Mm -hmm. um, so I think, uh, but at the same time, this is like you know she's going to have her own experience. So throwing her to an environment where 
she is black, but she's not, she doesn't look like the other black people here. Mm-hmm. I don't think that would have been healthy for her. So that's where the diversity in the mix of people um, mm-hmm. in South Africa, I think, is, is going to be helpful mm-hmm. for her because mm-hmm. she's not, she doesn't look so different than all the other kids that go mm-hmm. um, to the school. So she gets the experience of the cultures um, and kids of uh, different nationalities. Um, yeah. So I think for her, uh, she'll have access to nationalities and kids uh and culture that she would not have had in the states because uh, literally in, in, <laughs> in philadelphia it's black and white you know oh, wow. the religions and you know you know religions in there but for mm-hmm. the most part her experience would have just been that mm. um she wouldn't have had access to asian people mm. you know um and you know asian eastern and yeah you know so i think that is going to um set her up to be able to move in spaces that uh and feel comfortable and being in spaces that aren't so linear it's just being like a black and white situation so i think that's this experience is going to set her up uh nicely yeah. she's going to think about other people and not think mm. about herself like it's just all these benefits um to being here that i don't think she i know she wouldn't she would not have had uh, mm. in America. Yeah, well, it's giving her the opportunity, hopefully, to grow into a little global citizen wow. and not be, you know, like the typical person from the states. Like yes, the, like states the whole world revolves centered. around. That's right. right. You just don't have any, you know, awareness Perspect- or whatever. Yep. So, yep. Mm-hmm. so hopefully, that the plan is like get get it in wow. when she's young. So yeah, you the foundation with that, mm-hmm. with that perspective. Mm-hmm. Of the world, so. mm-hmm. Wow. And no, at the same time, cool. being proud of and seeing beautiful representation of blackness. Um, it's, it's, it's very important to me. Yeah. Um, and it's important that she feels that way. Mm. Um, because I think, you know, just being in a, in a racial couple in the States, um, there's so many images and so many things, bad things that are reinforced about black people. Oh, wow. Um, I think that, uh, it was, I know it's going to be difficult, um, for her to navigate that. Mm. And I'm just hoping being here that she'll be able to embrace it all mm-hmm. and not have to choose necessarily, but just appreciate all of it. Wow. No, so. that's beautiful. That's so. beautiful. And even <laughs> as I hear that, I even think mm-hmm. as a father and mm-hmm. as a husband to make sure Mr. Rich gets his kudos and get his flowers, <laughs> right? Because he made the move. He yes. heard his wife. Yes. He heard her desires for you all's daughter Mm -hmm. and um you know not necessarily having to deal with the very things she may be speaking of Mm -hmm. but saying okay no i want my daughter to be an advantage i want her to have a world view i want her to have a perspective of something more than just america because the world is bigger Mm -hmm. than america and even now with the internet with social media Mm -hmm. the Mm -hmm. realization that you don't necessarily have to go to America to make it. You can go other oh, places. You can yes, come here, which yes, we don't talk about opportunities. Yes. But I mean, the world is so big and yes. changing so fast yes. that yes. opportunities are endless. Yes. And okay. so setting her up, mm-hmm. kudos to you, sir. I appreciate mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, every now and then, as a man, you got to give the men honor. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so yeah. shout oh, out to you, sir. Shout oh. out to you. Shout out to you. Let him know in the comment <laughs> section below. We honor him. And, uh, you know, at the same time, he might have been pushed. And yeah. been, uh, <laughs> that part too. It's a little bit of a hard sell. But once we got here, he literally was on board. It there literally it took the first well, visit. He got it. He's like, yeah. oh, I see the value in this. Yeah. Much like everything else we've done, yeah. she like like a rocket at the gate. Yes. Could be home improvement projects. Okay. Could be whatever. Okay. Oh, fun. And then I'm coming along like, okay, well, here's how it has to go. Yes. And right, so sometimes you sort of like run out of steam towards the end and then here I come like, you know, finish it. Everything. That's it. Because yeah. the engine, the engine is going. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes the engine gets tired. You know what I'm saying? Got to put some gas that's in the it. tank. That's that's right. Right. But it's nice to have that balance. That's it. And it's nice to know your place and your space and you feel it respectfully. (laughs) And uh, even in that vein, we're going to talk about the beauty, the beauty Mm -hmm. that South Africa has to offer. Now, different than us, Mm -hmm. you all have been to other places other than Johannesburg, right? Mm -hmm. You've also been to Cape Town Mm -hmm. as well. Any other places within Uh, South Africa? Port Elizabeth Elizabeth Mm -hmm. as well. Okay. Wow. We have some perspective so <laughs> out of the three mm-hmm. which one would you say is the most beautiful and why because we all yeah have our own opinions yeah no don't come for them yeah because they know, may not I choose know, your, your city your, your land or your area right, <laughs> right they right. all have their beauty that, oh in so many different ways uh, huh. it's different uh different beauty yeah. um but cape town is everything that they mm. say it is as far as beauty like it mm. is breathtaking wow um yeah so 
the beauty in yeah, that from, regard. Um, yeah, from the landscape and natural beauty, like yes. the options. It's because we live in San Diego for a bit. It's a yes. lot like San Diego. Yes. Uh, so oh, do you want to go to the mountains and the beach in the yeah. same day? Wow. Sure, you can do that. Then. Okay. Like mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Visually stunning. Yes. Is that, that, yes. Yeah. Okay. That area. Absolutely mm. beautiful. Mm -hmm. Port but, Elizabeth was beautiful, mm -hmm. but just a lot slower. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just the, the pace yes. of the town. Yes, so, yeah. that is true. Now, mm -hmm. if there was one thing you would want somebody to know about Cape Town that they probably don't know unless you have been there, mm -hmm. what would it be? Because hmm. I even asked that question because y'all told me something mm -hmm. that I didn't even know was the case mm -hmm. and wouldn't have known because I hadn't been there. Huh. Yeah. Um... <laughs> I thought that would yeah. help, but then I thought about yeah. it. I was like, man, that yeah. might have yeah. made them very specific on one thing. What did I tell this right. guy? Right, I know. I'm just like, how yeah. much can Out I Out of all this I information, I could have <laughs> told him. But y'all told me that the water's cold. Oh, oh it's freezing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And yeah. it's a beach. Yes. Who thinks yes. they're going to go to a beach and think that they're going to experience cold water? And we were there in the summertime. Yeah, it was cold all the time. And actually, like 40 minutes south of Cape Town is mm. Penguin Beach. Mm -hmm. like, I heard about that. They've got a little destination. You yep. stand on the boardwalk and these penguins are just and it's nothing out. extra right, that they right, did right, for them. Right. They're in their environment. <laughs> yes. They're looking that's at y'all right. like, huh? Right. Is it's it just that so penguins can't? are in the water? That water's yeah. cold. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So just do the math. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Penguin friendly water. <laughs> right, 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 right. So, Should I be? That's right. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the next right. part. That's right. <laughs> I love that. And so no, I, I love that. And so, no, that's good. That's good. I definitely love that perspective and that thought. And so even to the beauty of Johannesburg, right? Um, what are some areas of beauty that have stood out to you since being here and even how long have you been here i mm -hmm. meant to ask that in the beginning but how long have you been here and so first how long have you been yeah, here? yeah so i think this sunday will be three week. months yeah, it's the third week wow. August, yep. yeah. so three months uh, sunday there it is um and i'm always surprised <laughs> how in cape town i'm sorry in johannesburg mm -hmm. how you can go to different parts of the city within 10, 15 minutes of where you live and feel like you're in a completely different... That is so true. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say country, but just section of... Correct. Like, it's just so different. Like, yep. there is the trampoline park that's in the middle of the city. Mm -hmm. um, and when you're at this uh, park, it's nothing but trees around you. Um, and then we went to the Zoo Lake park yes. on okay. Sunday. Yep. Oh. So we're out there rowing. Uh -huh. It was literally seven minutes from our house uh -huh. uh, on water in a boat yes. um, rowing in this beautiful park. Um, mm -hmm. So it's just, and this is all in the city. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just like, I love Johannesburg because it's so different yep. and it's so big. Yeah. Um, so and, true. So, and you have access to different things and you don't have to travel very far. Like a lot mm -hmm. of places like in the States, like you would have to, particularly in Philly, because it's a, a, a city, we would mm -hmm. have to go pretty far out, like a half an hour, 45 minutes to get to a place that has space because mm -hmm. it was so, it's so condensed um, mm -hmm. in the city. But here, like they, <laughs> they have stuff like little pockets in little yes. areas mm -hmm. that you would not know exist, you so know, just true. driving around the city. So that's my, that's one of my favorite parts. Like there's so much to do. Mm -hmm. um, you have access to so many things that's really close. No, that's good. That's yeah. good. What's your favorite part of Johannesburg? Now you might have two different once, mm -hmm. however, what's your favorite part of Johannesburg? Everybody knows our favorite is Rosebank. Yeah, we yes. love Rosebank. Yes, yep. And mm -hmm. all that it has to offer. Yep. What's your space? What's your place? Well, I think I would say Melrose. I know you guys were there ah. recently. Melrose Park, and it, Park, because I think that's where we stayed at. Like it really does have it's sentimental so value. Good. Like it just does. There's like, a secret. <laughs> There's a secret, ladies and gentlemen. I was wondering it. However, it's yes. been confirmed. Yes. Where you visit first. Where you visit the most often becomes that place yes. away from home. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yes. We have a date night tonight and we're going to Melrose for dinner. There it is. Uh, but no, that I think that is exactly what it is. Wow. It's like it, it has a place in our heart. And it was just a Marriott, but it was a beautiful hotel. Yeah, yeah. And the people were so great. And the area is so nice. Uh, but it absolutely does. Like Rich and I try to go at least once every couple of weeks just to kind of, you know, revisit that feeling. Yep. And like this is where it began. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. yeah, Melrose is my, one of my favorites. Okay, what about yeah, you? I would say Parker is the area yes. that we're in. Okay. We, we literally took like a half hour walk around. Oh, today. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. it's, it's very walkable. There's mm -hmm. restaurants. It's, it's 
starting to feel like Hearst. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So mm -hmm. Parkhurst mm -hmm. and Melrose Arch are two Melrose places you. that you all, I mean, you know, it's all right. Yes. It's a park to you because yes. you go to play. And at the yes. end of the day, what it, all this is to share, there are places, there are spaces, there are opportunities for you to enjoy mm -hmm. Johannesburg, even if you're visiting or yes. even if you live here. Try yes. those areas. Try those spaces. I'm yes. sure you'll find something that you like. Yes. But even to the point of even Parkhurst, mm -hmm. we went out there with you all, mm -hmm. had dinner, mm -hmm. I mean, lunch at, what was the place called? Uh, Hudson. Some, Hudson, mm -hmm. which was very nice. Mm -hmm. And then there's a whole strip mm -hmm. of yeah. restaurants, mm -hmm. right? A whole mm -hmm. strip of opportunities, even mm -hmm. ice cream, yes. you name yeah. it, is mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. um, but even speaking to all the things that you can do, right? Do you think that your daughter is bored here? Or do you think that she has a lot of opportunities here to do various things? Like, where do you find that in her and for her? There's a lot to do. I think that, so I think we, when we first moved here, we made the mistake of thinking we have to do everything. Uh, oh, that's that good. Live here. That's good. Yeah. Take notes. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> take notes. When you make the yeah. move, if you make the move, you don't have to do everything in one weekend. That's right. That's we right. were the same every way. Weekend. Yeah. Every weekend. Every weekend. Yeah, I mean, like, big things. Like, we were talking about going to the Lion and the uh, was it Rhino Park. Lion, yeah. And I went, we don't have to do it. We don't have to do it. Live, We've done it, but yes. we can do it in a couple months or just yes. whenever. But yeah, like big trips, like well not said. like little small things. Yeah. So so yes. Yeah. So the first, I would say the first month we were doing too much. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> and now on the weekends, like there's so many parks and playgrounds for Nina uh, to visit, like yeah. that's what mm -hmm. we've been doing like the last couple of weeks and she loves it, yep. like it's plenty for her. Mm -hmm. And also she does so much at school, mm -hmm. by the time the weekend mm -hmm. comes, she just wants to chill. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yes. play in the pool yeah. and go, yeah. you know, do a playground or two and she's good for the weekend. Yep. So it's nice. No, I love that. Go ahead, worry about that. I was just gonna say, there's a good blend of indoor and outdoor oh, options yeah. for yes. kids. Her so yes. very true. Yes. 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 Which is key. Yes. Whether, you know, if it rains on occasion yep, or it's too hot, like you can, you know, mm -hmm. you, get, you get options. So Correct. That's, yes. that's huge. No, that's so true. And even with the options, you all have even helped us with different restaurants yes. that oh, are yeah. even catering mm -hmm. to the kids, yes. which oh, is yeah. not a common thing in that the States. Thing. Like, yeah, of course, back in the day, mm -hmm. um, for some, maybe like, that's not that long ago. But nonetheless, <laughs> back in the day, you had fast food spots yeah. that had playground, like playground. areas, yes. right? The yes. Burger King, yep. the McDonald's, yep. the Chick-fil-A's, mm -hmm. but then COVID just wiped that out. Yep. But then as well, people started not paying attention to them and they were was outside getting dirty and dingy right. however here they have so many different yeah. restaurants yes. from the spurs yes. to the yep. uh what was the spot we went to really not too long ago josie joy josie and uh papachinos yes. like they're yes. options right yes. and i think to yes. your point that you said how even the waiters and waitress and other people are accommodating to the kids yes mm -hmm. yes they as well think about the kids and they the do. eating and yes. experiences yep. and yes. even yes. some restaurants you can eat mm -hmm. as adults but mm -hmm. then send your children yeah. off with somebody yes. that's qualified yes to that's right to watch, watch them, them. Like, exactly. how has that Why been you for you all dinner that's um because y'all are like us, yeah, right? In right. the sense that yeah. we have kids. Yep. We came down here without family. Without yep. family. And so yeah, everything we, we do, we do. Yeah, that's oh, right. Yeah. That's right. Like we you, live as yep. a tribe. Correct. Yes. yes. That's yes. what it is. We yes. don't have the luxury of leaving our kids at home that's at this right. point. And so how has that been for you all, having her with you, going out, exploring, and taking in the beauty of Joe Bird? Well, it, it's been great. Like, there's places like that. Like, it goes beyond the, like, oh, here's some crayons. Yes, yes. And then it correct. And antsy by the time, like, mm -hmm. we get our food. Correct. You know, she, you know, she'll just get up and go run off and mm -hmm. hang mm -hmm. out for a bit and come yeah. back. Mm -hmm. and, you know, but, yeah, mm -hmm. so that's been great. It's yeah. sort of it's very relaxing. Yeah. It's <laughs> so nice. That was one of the, like, the, the second time we came to visit, we went to a restaurant uh, in four ways, and they had this whole area yeah. cool. just for kids. And at first, Nina was a little nervous, but by the end of our dinner, like we had to <laughs> beg her yeah. again <laughs> to leave. Uh -huh. uh, so, but I like the, the concept of that was like yep. an area just for the kids to just run off and play <laughs> mm -hmm. while you enjoy your dinner. Mm -hmm. uh, it just blew my mind because yeah. there really isn't, um, or I at least in Philadelphia, yeah, um, there is there aren't spaces like that. No, um, so, in Tampa or yeah, Atlanta, yeah. right? Yeah. 
yes. these are spaces that I frequent yeah. often. Mm-hmm. It's not there as well. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe y'all can let us know. Probably right, somewhere exactly. in Texas. Please. Probably right. somewhere right. in Texas. Right. Somebody, right. 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 Everybody right. in Texas. It's something. Right. It's something always in Texas, right? Y'all cheating. So somewhere other than Texas in the States, let us know where the kids are catered to in abundance, right? That is even here. Multiple choices. That's so very true. Yeah. Now, there's one topic, huge topic of discussion a lot of people talk to us and even ask us about Mm -hmm. that, you know, know that we've moved here from the States and Mm -hmm. then post the question to you all. How has it been driving on the roads here in Johannesburg, South Africa? Um, Since I'm the only one who's. Oh, there it is. There it is. I'll answer Shout this. out to the man, to the um, husband. <laughs> so we're, we're on the other oh, yeah. opposite side of the road. Yes. Um, the car we have is a Volkswagen, it's like the size mm-hmm. of a Jetta. Okay. Which is, mm-hmm. which is fine. Because, yes. Um, it's three. South Africa yeah, has right. some of the smallest parking oh, spaces. Right. The that is so very true. <laughs> that's that's needed. Lots to know. of SUVs. I don't know how that math works, but regardless, this car is sort of. It's the Correct. Yes. space. Correct. It's compact. Um, but it's a stick shift. Okay. So it was a little getting used to uh-huh, uh-huh. driving on the wrong side of the road. Uh-huh. Stick shift on the wrong side of the car. Oh. Uh, wrong side. I didn't it's even think about side. that. Yeah. It's, it's so, the wrong side if you learned on the right side. Right, that's well, yeah, right. That's right. But then the when side. they come yeah. to the states, right. we're the on the wrong. wrong they're on the wrong right. side. So I get yeah, that's it. That's right. It all depends on where you start from. <laughs> that's right. That's yeah. right. But overall, I mean, it, it's not bad. I, I'd say the vast majority of the drivers mm. um, are aware that okay. they're sharing the road with other folks. Okay. Um, so when they have issues, like if the traffic light is out, like okay. everyone yeah, they are good is, about that. I do love is that. Yes. Aware. Yes. Yes. Right. Like yes. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, but that, no, exactly. don't hold back on the cabs. I, have I was about to say, wait, I, wait. I, you make it sound uh, like it's all peaches and cream. No. no we no, all the, know. The only, the only <laughs> okay. drivers on the road that yeah. you can potentially find issue with are the cab drivers. Yeah. It's interesting. Apparently, drive in their own world. Yeah, they literally. Don't pay attention oh, to lady. anything else. It, they'll drive on medians. And yep. they'll all come Across them. Yeah. 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 So you they'll have make to lanes. Make that's right. Watch out for them. Yes. Otherwise, folks that's are, right. Yeah, oh, well, the, yeah, right. <laughs> but then the people walking on the roads. That's also. There's that too. I, that yeah. Yeah, I wasn't going to yeah. speak about that. <laughs> but no, just but that's that the thing. Is, it's on no. the road. Like you, it's a part of it. It really is. And we all see it. We all experience it, right? So that's okay from the passenger side. Yes. You get to see it as well. Well, yeah, that's right. and once being a driver, you as well knew, you know, I'm sure right. you on a break sometimes, like, oh, uh, hey, Rick, do you see that? Rick, stop. Oh, that's, because that, I am a co pilot. That's it. Yeah, yeah. That's what wives do. That's most. Right. I say most. I'm not going to blanket a statement. That's most right. wives co pilot. Mm-hmm. However, you know, every now and then you, there's a line you can drop, you know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I'll say it off camera. But nonetheless, right. I mean, to your point, yes. you'll find pedestrians. On any roadway. That is a very true. Mm-hmm. Each and every and all of them. Yes. <laughs> that is true. That is true. <laughs> but it's true. crazy. You have to keep an eye out. I gotta yeah. share this. I yeah. gotta share this because like yeah. I had a moment of empathy for them. Mm-hmm. Because I was walking to the mall. And <laughs> certain times you just go out there because it's like I'm ready to get <laughs> to my destination. Because they be stepping out on faith. Correct. Faith. <laughs> I just want to get to my destination. And so like the cars don't look as Close as they actually are when you're walking. Like, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I had one moment crossing, not in a crosswalk, but crossing the street, and I said, Oh, this what this right. how they feel. Like, right. okay, right. so all that to say, right. I'm on both sides. Right. I'm on both sides. I complain and I understand at the same time. Right. Well, it's funny you say that because when we went walking in the neighborhood today, um, I was Rich was like he was really pressed to get on the okay, sidewalk. I'm uh-huh. like Rich, they used to be walking in the street. Oh, yeah, it doesn't <laughs> make it. I know, right? but, it, like, but my yeah. thing I is, agree. like they have some level of awareness. Yes. Like they're not going to hit you because they're used to seeing people walking in the that street. That is true. So, but yeah, so yeah. I agree. So we did that today, and I'm mm-hmm. just like, it's fine. But they know, they they know see? how to move nope. when people are walking in the street. Hey, see, well, you've been on both sides. These, yeah, these yes. pedestrians are so brave, and I won't say. I do. There's a fine line between bravery and stupidity. <laughs> Don't I'm cross sure it. they know on what side of that <laughs> that's line it. they're That's it. That's it. Be <laughs> that's right. ever careful. That's right. uh, because yeah, it could be your be last mindful. step. That's right. right. Yeah. Be, mindful be mindful and something, you know what I'm saying, you should just be aware of. Now, yes. speaking of that, mm-hmm. be aware of, what do you think, for those that are visiting mm-hmm. and look to visit, um, what do you think, where do you think is a place that they should go to see a true representation of the beauty of Johannesburg, like yes, we said Melrose mm-hmm. Arch. Yes, we said Parkhurst. But what is another space or a place or an area that you would recommend somebody to visit? Um, 
was so we haven't done too much exploring yes but um if i could just give a little shout out to the lanterns again like they, they no, no, no don't go far don't go they, fast we gotta shout them out we gotta give them their flowers they, give them their applause they right awesome, like i awesome. feel like they gave us a nice mix of nice. areas so we we would i don't know if we, we would have probably ended up in Toledo at some point okay um but they that was part of our trip and that um, i would definitely recommend people going there yes i would definitely recommend um people visiting there mm-hmm. um and just explore the neighborhoods like if you're if you're thinking about moving i definitely would recommend um exploring neighborhoods mm. um because there are neighborhoods i mean yes. a, lot, a lot i think a lot of people think that it's just gated communities and and there's plenty of those plenty. and you know people mm. have a preference and i get all of that yeah um but if you think that um you know that's all that it is um, I would definitely suggest exploring mm. um, different neighborhoods because there's levels. To yes. This. Oh. Um, yes. Oh. <laughs> so I would suggest I would suggest uh, Soweto for sure, mm-hmm. um, and just you know looking at different neighborhoods. Mm-hmm. We can also tailor it around um, your interests, yes. okay. specific activity. Yes. You know, because yes. museums could take you downtown Johannesburg, True. or you know, certain restaurants could take you somewhere else. Yes. So definitely, kind of look. For what you're interested in, nice. and you'll find options, and then you can kind of tailor, you know, the exploration from there. Nice. Yeah, so. no, no, I love that. I have a, a cheat answer, and mm-hmm. my cheat answer yeah. is the hop on, hop off tour, oh, which you can you start at Rosebank. Like that's a yes. ultimate Rose cheat code. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's that's all right. about yeah. where you all start. Roads Come lead to find to out. It's all. all the <laughs> there's that too. There's that too. There's an awesome fried restaurant. I love it. But the list goes on, right? Yes. However. In Rosebank. Yeah. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Rosebank, if, if you need a sponsor, you yeah. need somebody to talk about yeah. you at all times. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> That's right. But uh, they do have a hop on, hop on yes. tour there that yep. takes That's you around good. the mm-hmm. city of Johannesburg yes. to yep. even Soweto yep. and other parts. Oh, they do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They, oh, have, they have okay. a, they, and they even pair you with somebody that can show you it as well. That's right? amazing. And so you can see different parts. Yep. Um, they'll walk around with you there as well. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. you get to see Nelson Mandela's home, Desmond. Yep. Tutu home, oh, which yes. is like on the same street. Yeah, yeah. You can see one from the other. Yes. Well, from Desmond Tutu house, you can see Nelson Mandela. Yes. Yeah, yeah, his last you just home. Turn right? around, you can see. It. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, in Soweto, not not his last home, but one. Okay, of his one of his homes. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's right. It's the first one with yeah, the, yeah. yes, with the bullets. Yeah, he had, he had yes. moved out, and you know, Nelson Mandela had a life. He had a life. Yes. And yes. Uh, and a journey. Yes. And, um, but with it, mm-hmm. I will say that tour gave a full yeah. perspective of mm-hmm. all that Johannesburg had. You saw Zoo Lake and you saw different things. Oh, that you made did you see say, Zoo Lake. Mm-hmm, yeah. Oh, okay. And even mm-hmm. like it's hop on, hop off. Yeah. You can get off. Yes. To yes. That's if you right. The neighbor. To. Yes. And um, to your point, even the neighborhoods, mm-hmm. you get to see different ones from mm-hmm. those that's been there. Yes, established the, or new. Correct. Mm-hmm. During mm-hmm. the mines mm-hmm. and all of those things, mm-hmm. times and such. So. That's a cheat code. That's a cheat yeah, code. Yeah, no, that's a good one because yeah. we would yeah. like to do that also. So yes, mm, we'll, we'll I dig that. that. Yep. Yes. And we'll have to do we'll have to do a, a short video just even talking about like moving tips because yes. even I want to start helping people mm-hmm. like member wise like moving tips if you're looking to make the move. So yes. we'll do a separate video yes. and all those things. But with that, um, the beauty. Like mm-hmm. anything else you want to say pertaining to beauty that Johannesburg has to offer that I didn't reach or touch. Now. I'll lead it because you, <laughs> you started it. And I, and I think this is a thing that a lot of people don't know. Mm-hmm. However, when you move here, you can't help but to see that there's levels to life here uh, in Johannesburg. Not everybody lives yeah. the same. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not everybody lives mm-hmm. the same. Mm-hmm. There is mm-hmm. abundantly rich. Yes. And mm-hmm. there are people that are impoverished here as well, yes. which is That's in every right. country, every, every city, country. everywhere. Mm-hmm. You just right? don't see it on the TV in the United you States, don't but it's see there. It on the TV. We saw mm-hmm. a lot of people that were in need. Send yeah. money here, send money there in yes. Africa, and it blanketed over Africa and itself. The However, whole continent. <laughs> whole continent. You think the whole continent Starving is babies. in need. However, yeah. that's not the case. Absolutely right? not. There's opulence here in oh, South yeah. Africa. So much. Like, Mm -hmm. we were driving around at one point or another Mm -hmm. uh, during our visit, and Mm -hmm. I I had to ask Crystal, like, Mm -hmm. are they giving away Land Rovers Mm -hmm. here? Mm -hmm. Like, yes. Like, it's such a common car in certain areas, right? Yeah. Um, That it's like, whoa, what's what's going on? So, like, that's a beauty that I think a lot of people don't know Mm -hmm. that they will know once they come. However, like, did you, as you voiced it, so I know you noticed it, Mm -hmm. but when did you notice it, and like, how did it? How did you interact with that information, like seeing it for yourself? 
Um, I think um, mm-hmm. because I <laughs> watched so many online videos yes. um, about South Africa, I feel like I had some understanding that okay. you know people there are successful people here yeah. but I don't think I was prepared for how many like the malls mm-hmm. and like it's just um, I mean I mean they are do- <laughs> they are out here doing it they doing it high level they mm-hmm. are doing it high level um, and uh, yeah and, and, and the thing that I'm most excited about is I feel like we moved here at such a good time because it is just getting I think this country is just going to continue to go in a direction mm. Uh, upward direction, yes, um, and prosperity. Prosperity will, you know, um, pull everyone up. Nice, uh, but it is. It's. Um, I, <laughs> Rich says I never have anything bad to say about. <laughs> I am, I'm just hard pressed <laughs> because I always see opportunities there and just is. like oh, and like the way they do things to yep. me a lot of times seems more efficient. Yes, um, and uh, yeah, and that's and because they're because for example, we were driving and the <laughs> the guy was. Um, mowing the lawn with the weed whacker, oh. the median. He was mowing the median yeah, like with the weed whacker, yeah, and Rich yeah. thought was that like was so silly. Yes, and he was just like, "Well, they could just have a ride along." And yeah. I was like, "Well, here's the thing: it's giving someone a job because there's so many people here. So yeah. it's just like, yes, you, I guess you could just do a ride along. But now these six people have employment. Yes. So I just feel like they just do things just in a way that uh, I mean, America, y'all need to catch up. And that's the truth of it. Like it's so that's it's. The complete opposite of what true. we have been told our entire lives. Yeah. Um, and it's, it, I believe, it's my own personal belief, that yeah. is very intentional. Like, mm. it's like, you know, we want to get, I'll get off my soapbox. I just believe it. That's all <laughs> I right. That's all right. That's all right. It's incredible here um, mm. what they have yeah. um, and how they do things. Like, yeah. it's, you know, they're just very, very forward thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I even love that. And we can even transition to the opportunities that you started to speak of knowing and seeing the various opportunities, right? A lot of people, especially us, yes. right? We can come here and see opportunities that people here may not see because this is all they've seen, right? Mm-hmm. right? Yeah. It's the whole situation with familiarity, right? Yes. You could be in an environment, you could see things so many different ways and think mm-hmm. this is just how it has to be. Yeah. As opposed to somebody coming in new yes. for the first time yep. or new to the environment saying, man, like, right. That's an opportunity. We right. can change that. We can make that exactly. We can improve right. on we can that. Bring this. Exactly. And we can raise the quality of living up or raise blah blah blah. blah. Mm-hmm. And there's always people involved, right? Yes. So yes. what are some, if any, opportunities that you all have seen mm-hmm. um, here and maybe that you will look to explore? So I have to let you take this one. Because I thought this was a very when we the first when we came the second time and we stayed at the house. Well, I think that's a silly, it's more of an observation. Yeah, okay. okay. Um, no one has screens on any windows <laughs> anywhere in this country. So that we've like, experienced. Time right, out. I'm like, right. why? Time right. out. Right. Before that's you listen. say too much, yeah. I had the same thought, <laughs> Mr. Red. We might have to talk about <laughs> right. that. Right, seriously, that's, like, that's like, an investment opportunity. Why is there no screens? Screens. So, like, obviously, I don't want to paint this as like, oh, we're out you know, on a safari, but they do a really great job of incorporating the outdoors outdoors. and indoors. Like, if you look out here, like, there's greenery all over the place, and trees, like, it's, Mm -hmm. there's a lot of birds and other, you know, this little city-like wildlife, so you get your bugs and whatnot in there. I'm like, why is there no screens on any Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mm -hmm. This is Port Elizabeth, this is here, this is Cape Town. Like, as a country, no one believes in screening windows. Yeah. Yeah, no, Rich, I was like, that's an opportunity. And like, you are getting hit to the solar thing. So it's things like that. You're just like, wow, this would do, particularly with load shedding and like the solar. But, you know, like I said, they're definitely getting on board with that. Yeah, the solar, yeah, that's. Yeah. But there's, you know. Now we're going to have to talk about this screen off camera because (laughs) that was one of the first things I saw when visiting homes and looking around and just thinking, Uh like, there's just one part missing. Right. right. Oh, every window that's that right. I see that's that right. I know a quick fix. Right, quick fix. Yes. And so quick we can fix. talk about that. We yes. can talk about that. Yes. Um, yeah, and, but, but you open the windows because at least where we are, correct. the way they I do too. built the houses, they're mm-hmm. very aware of you know your orientation from north south. You know, it, it makes Sun. sense. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. it kind of warms up the one ha- side mm-hmm. and cools the other. Like mm-hmm. it, that's great. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No screens. Mm-hmm. So you open up the windows, you got these little gecko, these little lizards they gonna come. around the house. Yeah. Uh, like, huh? <laughs> they uh-huh. coming inside. They gonna come. Can I join you yep. for dinner? Oh, yes. Correct. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. well, since we're here. Right, that's yeah. right, right. Exactly. Pull Thanks up a chair. Thanks for making little Pull guys to stay on the outfit. 
Sorry. There you go. There's one right. message from Rich yes. to the yeah. geckos, to the lizards. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Stay outside. That's right. um, any other opportunities, right? Because I know mm -hmm. that you all are um, in conversation with mm -hmm. other Americans, be it mm -hmm. Facebook groups or anything like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. um, have you all thought of anything? Because I know for me, mm -hmm. I'll speak for me and maybe yeah. you can relate. And talking with other Americans or mm -hmm. other people, mm -hmm. you start to bounce ideas off each other and think, oh man, like, we can do that. Like this mm -hmm. could be done. Mm -hmm. um, what is there any? Because I know one of the one of the main ones. Yeah. A lot of people talk about a lot is real estate. Yes. Right. Because it's so much less here yes. mm -hmm. than it is back at home. Yes. And you get so much more here right. than you get back at home. That's and correct. it's so much well better built right. here right. than it is back at home mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. like anything like that has come across you all's board or ideas or thoughts i think um so the the groups that i am a you know that i'm a part of on facebook i feel like a lot of um the conversation i feel like 99 percent of the conversation in those groups are how do i move there like that, uh, like it's because I feel like we've done or, you know, I think there's been really good representation out there now mm -hmm. in the over the last three years about mm -hmm. South Africa. I feel like people are just like, OK, you sold me. Yes. Now, how can I live there uh, um, or just, you know, um, visit? But I do think as far as like the real estate piece go, yeah. like even if you can get your visa, buy a vacation home mm. or buy an investment property. Yeah. And then when you come here for three months, you can live there and then rent. Because a lot of people do that. So I think there are definitely opportunities. Even if you can't, you know, quite get that retirement visa or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, you're not, you might not be in a position where you can officially move. Mm -hmm. There are definitely ways that you can become a part of the community mm -hmm. through, you know, investing in real estate. Because I do know um, there's a couple that uh, they purchased, I think a few months ago, and their plan is to come a couple times a year with their mm -hmm. daughters. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, that sounds fantastic. Yeah. So even if you're not able to move right 100%. away, um, yep. this is a way of getting your foot in the door mm. wow, before everybody else finds out. Because uh, I also think uh, that South Africa is going to be blowing up. Correct. Um, so I think if you're going to, you know, if something that you're thinking about or considering, you definitely want to start doing your research now. Wow. No, I love that. And mm -hmm. I love the fact that it came from you. <laughs> because while on Facebook as well, I came across Relocate with Kaya. Find your perfect destination. Nation, please let us know what that is about mm -hmm. and um, how we can be a part. Oh, well, thank you for uh -huh. bringing it up because I definitely <laughs> had no intentions on talking about that. No, we're here. But no, but we are here um, and this is family. That's it. Um, and I really do ultimately want, um, like, so I help people relocate to pretty much anywhere in the world. Nice. But my passion okay. um, is South Africa. Yeah. Uh, and particularly, you know, talking to, a, you know, a demographic that I think would benefit um, from moving to the continent and South Africa in particular. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, so that's, that's why, you know, I'm so... Um, I'm so happy that there's so many people out there promoting this country and exactly because yeah. sometimes you feel like you're on an island. Mm -hmm. Like when I talk to family, like you don't know how great it is. Mm. Um, so just seeing other people out here sharing the uh, the news yeah. um, and the information um, mm. and just getting it out there and just showing all the things that I feel yeah. when I see other people, you know, out here doing the same thing. It's just mm. like okay, I'm, this is this is what I should be doing, or this is it's not just me. Right. So yeah. So that's. Um, I am a realtor also, so yes. um, I'm definitely familiar with the whole, you know, helping people um, relocate, yes. uh, whether it's local or, you know, in the, in the States or um, moving out of the country. So that's what I do. So if you have questions, yes. um, please, um, you can always reach out to Ricky and he can forward it to me. But that's her uh, information <laughs> will be in the description <laughs> below. I've done my connecting. <laughs> Right? And so now that you know of mm -hmm. the resource, mm -hmm. of a source of mm -hmm. aid and help, definitely look in the comment section below. I'll definitely put her Facebook and any other details or contents that she provides. It will be there. Mm -hmm. And even just to help them to get the idea that, oh, wait, I, I do need your service. What's like a thing that people don't think about that you come in contact with in helping them in the relocation process? Because one, everybody has their own unique scenario, situation, and mm -hmm. circumstance that mm -hmm. may draw them over or keep them from coming. Mm -hmm. However, in your conversations with others, mm -hmm. what is like one of the main, well, not main thing, but a thing that people don't think about that you will help them overcome? 
I think so, because Rich and I have actually used a service, uh, kind of what I do, I, we had someone help us facilitate our move. And I think what we, what I find, found, find to be, has been most helpful, believe it or not, has been the post move. Uh, um, and just kind of acclimating yourself once you get that's so to good. the country. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> that's so good. So like, that's good. <laughs> Like some of the things that are are the the day to day nuts and bolts yes. of moving. Yeah. Like what is it like to to rent a car or to buy a car? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, utilities, bank electricity. Mm -hmm. Like how how do all those things work? Mm -hmm. But also the broader scope of mm -hmm. like preparing yourself to move from a culture you grew up in, yep. presumably, mm -hmm. to being somewhere in a whole other. And, yeah, yeah. And, yep. and, how, and having no family. Yeah. And, 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 and wait, wait. Feelings around being that. called being an immigrant. Yeah. Yes. You're an immigrant yeah. now. Yes. Like that's something yes. that we no. never had to think Ooh, about. That's right. But to your point, yeah, that's right. something like, now. How do you deal with that or how do you kind of help prepare yourself yeah. for that experience of being, you know, in a new place, mm -hmm. you know, one month, six months or yeah. a year. Mm -hmm. And trying to immerse yourself into that culture or, or that environment. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> so I think, because a lot of information is out there about the nuts and bolts of how do you, the logistics of how do you do it. Mm -hmm. But it's the it's the once you get there um, yep. is what I find that people um, not struggle with, but I think you're not prepared because you yes. don't know what it's going to look like once you get there. Yeah. So having access to somebody that's kind of like can walk you through it um, or just give you helpful information and resources and mm. suggestions, um, I find to be very very helpful mm. because it can you know it can be isolating. Yes. You know, unless, particularly oh, if you're so an introvert and you're not like me out here stalking these YouTube. Pages. Oh boy! And reaching out to people like Ricky. It's all right. Uh, we're here. We're here, and we and we here for the people. At the end of the day, it's not just on videos, but it's the yes, real they deal are. truth, yes, right? Yes, and I think they are our friends. That's it. Family, right? Yes. It's family, and we. Well, us. I can't speak for all, right? Mm -hmm. But for us, when we say we want to meet people, get to know people, mm -hmm. interact with it. people, we mean it, right? <laughs> yes. And especially knowing yes. we have kids, right? Yes, I think it's huge. The equalizer and the thing that makes us common is that we have kids. Yes. We understand that our kids need other kids yes. and community. Yes. And, uh, you know, it just so happens that it worked out for yes. us, yeah. right? Yes. Yes. And so all that to say, how do you even feel about the opportunity of meeting people, of interacting with people? since you've been here um so <laughs> so believe it or not okay. i am the one that's out here um i'm the one with the gift of gab so uh, uh, and our i think it's been seen <laughs> what do you think mr rich <laughs> well, I, I choose my words there <laughs> So I'm out here hopping. Like in the States, that was kind of my role. Like, you oh, know, wow. our, in our friend circle, like it was, you know, me, you know, reaching out to people and, you know, maintaining relationships. Mm. Um, so I thought that, okay, well, I'll be able to do that here. Okay. Um, and I have found that to be not as, <laughs> mm. that's been a little bit of a challenge mm. for me. And I think because one, like when you're an adult, it's difficult to make new friends. Like that unless, particularly if you're not going to an office, yep. um, yeah, where are you going to make, right, exactly. Yep. Like, you know, the fact that Rich and I both work from home. So it's difficult. Um, it's been difficult for me trying to make relationships mm. um, with people um, independent of, yes. you know, the Facebook groups and, yes. you know, people that I've connected with uh, online. So yeah. that has been a bit of a challenge. Not mm. a challenge, but it's just like it hasn't happened as quickly as I thought okay. um, it would. But I'm so, <laughs> I'm so thankful that there is a community here yeah. um, of, ex, you know, Americans yeah. that have moved here and they are for the most part all have been very uh, welcoming and accessible mm -hmm. so I think without that group your girl just be out here looking mm. at Rich looking at me <laughs> <laughs> looking at Nina well, hey y'all been doing it for 26 exactly. years so what's another exactly. day <laughs> what's another and day hello another country hello no, I did so, that so I yeah so that. that has been that has been um for me, that's been the only thing that I was like, wow, that didn't, it didn't translate um, uh -huh. how easy it was for me in the States right. um, coming here, you mm. know, making connection with people that I haven't already connected with either prior mm. or are, aren't a part of a group. Yeah, no, I mm -hmm. dig that. How about yeah. you? I know you met friends, right? I know oh, you, yeah, you right. talked about yeah, going to right. rugby that's with that's people. Right. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah. I, um, Knew nothing about rugby, but right. it was likewise. Right at, right at the beginning of the uh, rugby world cup gotcha. tournament, gotcha. Um, so I headed out on 
Fourth Ave. It yes. was one of the bars. Yes. And ended up connecting with a couple guys. There like, it is. Um, and they were gracious enough uh-huh. to try to teach me the game <laughs> over the course of the ensuing weeks. There it is. You know, every, every week I'd meet up with them for the next, oh, next that's round fun. of the game. And, um, yeah. I was fortunate enough to be out with them when they actually won it. Mm. So I got to kind of experience mm-hmm. um, so how happy and whatnot Respect. folks were that night. And, yes. you know, the camaraderie and how everyone mm-hmm. was just uh, yeah. you know, enjoying that. There it is. Together. So, right. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was, yeah, it was awesome. Okay. <laughs> I dig that. So I won't say two different perspectives. However, <laughs> yeah. uh, there's opportunity. Yes. Right? And, I, and yeah. I even will say there is opportunity, even if you like go out. Yes. I know Chris and I, we've met people just being out. Mm-hmm. And I forgot where we were. Well, one space was Rosebank. Uh-huh. But uh, <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, Rose one of them was Rosebank. <laughs> we went out to eat, and then this guy next to us just started talking and yes. just interacting yes. or yes. We're out and yes. about. Yes. And people are talking. Uh, somebody will, you know, uh, compliment Crystal or we'll yeah. compliment them. And yep. they'll, oh, this yes. one girl, she yes. went to such an extent. Like Crystal complimented her hair. Mm-hmm. And the girl was like, oh, yeah, such and such braided my hair. And she was like, Oh wait, you're not from here, huh? She, Chris was like, no. She said, oh well, let me give you the girl's number. Gave her the girl's mm-hmm. number, and she yes. said, now let me give you my number. And if you go, you can let me know, and I'll go with you. Like, whoa, wait, huh? Yeah. Like, <laughs> that's you gonna amazing. just yes. derail your whole day yeah. and to do that for me? But that's the beauty that the yes. people here operate, and that's yes. why I even love the people. To your point, yes. that you even made they're so nice, they're yes. so friendly, friendly and accommodating and helpful. And accom- yes. yes, so no, welcome. You're absolutely right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Now. Even in a sense of welcoming, right? As we mm-hmm. come to the conclusion in the back end of the conversation, do you believe that being American, that you all feel welcome while being here? Or do you think that people don't know until you start talking? Like, how welcoming do you feel as you're walking about living your life, doing what you do? So, um, okay. <laughs> I was like, can I go first? Which would be the first time I no. this entire shop. <laughs> Not this time, not this time. No. Um, I think so, you know, um, I think, you know, part of you know, us deciding to move to South Africa, we were concerned, not concerned, but it's like thought about like how would we be perceived um, as an interracial couple? Because mm-hmm. um, I think the first time we came, like people would stare, okay. but then I eventually learned that that was just a part of the culture. Like, it's yes. not, they're not staring. I mean, it could be a little bit of that, but that's not the sole yeah. purpose. Yes. Like, people just, you know, observe. Look, right, it's, they observe yeah. longingly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it lasts like longer right. than your comfort level in the state. Right, like, right, exactly. You know, like, yeah, in the yeah. states, you know, because there's so much aggression. Like, yeah. if somebody stares too long, you think it's a problem. Correct. Whereas though here, like, you know, it's just what it is. Right. So, I think, um, so we didn't know how to perceive, like, people just look at mm-hmm. and then we realize well no they're not they, that has it probably has nothing to do with us being an interracial couple mm-hmm. but what I think um, I think what I was surprised to see is that there are a decent amount of in this circles that we've moved in of interracial couples so it's not it doesn't feel mm-hmm. like it's a thing yeah it's kind of yeah. just like they staring at us they don't care like they see it mm-hmm. um, so I think um, so I say all that to say is that I, people have been very, you know, whether it's just me by myself or Rich and I are together, just mm-hmm. very warm and just mm-hmm. nice and like just want to help us, mm-hmm. um, you know, with uh, with anything really. Very I mean, true. just the, you know, and like the example about Crystal talking mm-hmm. to this woman, like this, that's just how they are. Like that's our high. realtor, well, the first time we came out here, our um, we went to go look at a school and we didn't choose the school, but the the person that did the walkthrough with us for the school gave us her realtor. Wow. We connected with her realtor. Her realtor did the walkthrough for the house that we're living in now like all these connections connections. and we're still in touch with this realtor so it's just like so it's not difficult to meet and make friends here I just need to put myself out (laughs) a little more to connect with people Um, so yes but the people here are so friendly and you can spark up a conversation with almost any Mm -hmm. and everybody yeah Mm -hmm. and I'd say that that way before you even they figure out where you're from yes oh sorry I agree I agree (laughs) it is a very warm and and open Mm -hmm. environment yeah you know but all the when they you're not like, where are you from? Uh-huh. Like, oh, you're yeah. living yeah. here, uh-huh. welcome, yeah. and all yeah. that kind of stuff like uh-huh. that. But the behavior doesn't change. Like, oh, you're no. from the States. Correct. Yeah. That's it. Correct. Okay. And? Correct. Correct. Yeah. Right. Yes. Because, again, mm-hmm. from what we talked about, there are people here from all around all over. the world. Mm-hmm. All That's over. the key part all around the world. Yes. So you don't have to feel You're not a reserved. novelty. Right. Correct. Yeah. You are not a yeah. trophy piece. No. Because mm-hmm. you come from the States. Oh, like, at the end of the day, they've seen it. Yes. They are dipping it and doing it. 
we're not That's we're just it. like a, you know like everybody else which is great because you is don't great. want to feel like you're um not gentrified but you don't want to feel like you're coming in and being a voyeur like it's like i want to be a part of the community mm. and they definitely make you feel that way mm. like yeah. they just do no i dig that i dig that i love that now if there's one word mm -hmm. that you would use to represent south africa what would it be rosebank Good answer. Good answer, sir. See, Rick, Good see, answer. Rick. That's that bird connection we That's have right there. That's that bird connection. <laughs> that bird connection. I'm sorry. Yeah, you could go ahead. Um, I, know, <laughs> I, 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 I don't have anything else. <laughs> um, I, I think um, just... I, I don't know. Like, I don't yeah. think of a one word. It's not going to sound so cheesy. Mm. Um, but just... Uh, I think, I mean, just kind. Like nice. People here are just kind. Mm -hmm. That's so very true. And Philly, even though it's a city of brotherly love, mm. it is, it's Ooh. very, it's sometimes <laughs> not that. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So I don't think, and I don't know if I ever want to get used to the feeling of just being in awe of how kind, nice. genuinely, people are here. Yes. So just ki kindness mm. um, is how I, how I would describe um, the, the, the people of South Africa. Yeah. And that is what resonates with me. The most. No, I love that. I love mm -hmm. that. Well said. I can't agree anymore with what you said. It's so very true. And I think that in those visiting or making the move, you'll mm -hmm. get to see it for yourself mm -hmm. when you do make the visit, right? Mm -hmm. However you choose mm -hmm. to make the visit or even make the move. However, mm -hmm. like I said, I'll put all the details in the description that you can get in contact with these uh, beautiful people um, and, you know, even become their friends, right? Yes. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay with sharing my friends. And so she's voiced her <laughs> desires. Like to be friends. And so at the end of the day, Hit her up. Yeah. Meet up. Okay. Let's go eat, right? She That's likes right. Melrose Arch. Right. She likes I Park her. So if I you do. like any of the two, yes. you already know a couple for you that could connect That's with right. you. Yes. However, in back to you and your relocating services, um, what's what's the phrase, what's the way that you represent or let people know about who you are and what you do? So I, um, I provide online support for individuals, families, and employees moving abroad by providing them with relocation country-specific resources. Bing, Yeah, Bing, so if you boom. literally just have, just, you know, um, just the, how do you start, like where to begin, mm. uh, definitely reach out uh, to me and we can just, you know, chat. Mm -hmm. And hopefully I'll be able to answer some questions for you that'll make, your decision uh, to move, or if you're even just considering it, um, mm -hmm. a little easier. No, I love that. I love that. And I think one of the qualities or the areas that you've highlighted, which is the once you get here, once you've gotten here experience, mm -hmm. yeah. game changer. Yes. Game changer. Mm -hmm. yes. Game changer. It's yes. one thing to make plans and to get here That's once right. your plans have been successful, yep. but it's another thing to actually Check live out. Check all the boxes. Yeah. The plans. Like yeah. it's, it's a whole other yes. thing. And I yes. think that the relocation services are going to be amazing for the people. Yes. And so um, make sure you tap in, tune in, and get all that they have to offer because I'm sure it's going to be great, as great as they are. And even with it, we love Johannesburg, South Africa, we right? We, we really, do. really yep. do. We, we do. speak from a genuine space and a place and yes. you know i believe there's others right that mm -hmm. do love south africa as well so hit me up message me email me i thought about um what's that girl it was a cartoon call me beat me if you want to reach me kim possible kim possible <laughs> all right so i had a kim possible moment right there but at the end of the day I this is not it. about kim possible this is about <laughs> south africa and so if there is anything that you would like to share that goes along with this segment definitely let me know we'll look to have a sit down a conversation and share with others why you love sa why south africa has been beautiful to you and why you want to share that beauty with others so until next time great people we love you all we appreciate you all peace did it not? I like that wave. <laughs> 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 All right.